Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So it's a rainy day here at the convent. So something interesting happened this morning. One of the town's trees fell over and some of it landed in our garden. And the town sent some workers to come and clear up anything that fell over. And they also did some extra clearing up. So that's really, really kind of them. Also the other day, the co-joint mayor came over to see what we're up to. And he is very impressed with what we're doing here. He did say that they wanted to buy this building, but they couldn't afford it and they couldn't afford the renovations either. So in the future, he said when it's done, they would like to use the building, hire it out for some sort of events, cultural things for the town and things like that. So it's really nice to have the town sort of on board with us. Yeah, just thought I'd mention that. And yeah, the windows are done for this kitchen. So they're made. He's just waiting for one of his employees to get back so we can come and fit them. And then we can plaster the walls, finish the floor, and then finish it because it's almost there and it's gonna look amazing. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for the windows, we're in the hallway and we're cracking on in there because we don't wanna waste time. So if we get that done, we can move on to another room and the window shouldn't be long now, maybe a couple of weeks. So let's crack on.
So Simon's just mixed up some lime and sand and I've got instructions to cut this stone. So I've got the saw out this morning. Um, hopefully it starts. All right, good morning. Welcome back to the convent. Uh, so today what we're doing is, yesterday, if you remember, I built the retaining wall up uh, here. So today what we're trying to do is kind of like organise the stones, if you like. So I've already set a couple in there. Um, what I've got Billy doing today is helping me. He's cutting the stones for me so I can lay them in there. What we're trying to do as well is, if you remember, we took the lintel out and it was a straight, cut, uh, a straight line, not a cut line, but a straight line. So what we're having to do is to make it in keep with the rest of the floor is stagger the joints. And what I mean by that is, this one here is one we took out here and it come there and, it, and when we took the lintel out, it was straight across. So what we've done is, <laughs> cut this one back, so now we've got joints that are cut out, if you see. So that one will either go back in a bit or forward. So we're creating the same pattern that's on the floor. So this one here is the one Billy's just cut. What I'll also do is, if you notice, I don't know if the camera picks that up okay, but it's a nice clean cut. So what I'll do with a hammer is just chip these edges off. Because if you, if you notice these, they're all sort of chipped, if you like, where they've been busted over the years. Um, people walked on them. Although this is to say, I know it looks a different colour, it's not. It's just where it's wet, where Billy's cut it. Uh, so this one, when I've, clean, when I've dressed the edge up a little bit, will fit in there like so. And I'll just rest it there. And then you can see that the joints now will be irregular if that's a way of putting it. So also I had Janice mix up uh, another mix today, which the consistency is like three parts sharp sand to one point lime. We don't need no cement in it today. Yesterday we had put a shovel of cement in it because I wanted a really strong mix because this retaining wall was a retaining wall, where this is not. So traditionally it would have been lime and uh, sand put in there, but just for strength, so that this lasts another 300 years, uh, we had a little bit of cement in there. Not a lot, only a little bit. So that will be nice and strong. These will get staggered, like I said, in here today. Um, so it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle as well, because if you, if you notice underneath these stones, they kind of like go from that thickness up to this thickness. So you've got, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. It's a bit like the ceiling in a lot of ways. There's nothing straight or, you know, parallel with anything in here. So we'll juggle them about and make them fit. Uh, and I'm sure Alex will come back at certain points of the day so we can see the progress as it's coming along. Right, so in between cutting stones, I need to measure. Yanis, yeah. could you just hold that for me, mate? Yeah. Comme ça? Comme ça? No, just comme ça, you see? Yeah. yeah, about there. Don't move it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Okay, down. Sorry, Simon, we're gonna be okay, right anyway. Dans la joie, comme ça. Oui, joie. So one meter 80. Okay, 180 by, what are we gonna be? 70. Mind you, you got stuff there as well. Oh yeah, we have, yeah, so 60. So 60 by 170. Okay, so yeah. I need to... You've allowed like, it to come in just slightly, haven't you? Yep, yep. So you don't want it right on the edge? No, you don't want it right on the edge, no. Um, I need to order a thingy. Let me just show you a photo, everyone. Something like that. Yeah, metal, um, fur 4J apparently, so it's hand forged metal, steel, iron, I don't know, it's very, very cheap, 198 euros. I couldn't make it for that price. So I'm gonna order it, hopefully it's good quality. If not, I can always send it back and then we're gonna put it in once it's done. Um, so yeah, 
Brilliant. I'm going to go order that, Alex. So okay. I'll see you in a bit. So another important job today, um, Clive is laying the flooring in the small bathroom and we have some travertine here. I ordered about 36 square meters over a year ago and I was gonna do the entire apartment in them, but um, I just think it would be a bit too cold on the feet for whoever's gonna live here. So the travertine is gonna go in the kitchen and the bathroom and the rest is gonna be a nice sort of wood effect, wooden flooring. and. The only issue with this, it comes in so many different sort of variants that there's like five different shapes and the pattern is quite hard to work out. But we are doing the pattern the best to the room itself. So we're adjusting it so the layout is better. So as you imagine here, the toilet's gonna to be here and then the shower tray starts there, that way. And yeah, it's gonna work really well. There's gonna be some cuts down the side here. It's just the best way of laying these and trying to make a nice pattern at the same time. Travertine, um, obviously for a wet room, isn't ideal. So we're gonna seal it so water doesn't penetrate into them. And we're gonna grout all of these little holes and everything. And it should be really, really nice. So yeah, um, Clive is doing a fantastic job. In fact, he's one of the best tilers I've seen. And um, yeah, it's fantastic to have a plumber who can also tile. Um, so yeah, if you wanna go and see what he's up to, Alex. There's quite a small room. So we're doing flooring tile today. Um, just we leveled the floor best we could last night to get it a bit a uh, bit better. It was a high high corner over there, and we've just been setting out just like Billy said, set out the best way we can to make these tiles work for our room. Unfortunately, we don't want to cut into the tray just because we want a really nice edge there and these chip quite easily. So we're going to have to have a smaller cut into the corner there, which is into the into the wall, which is a bit of a shame, but it's the, you know, it's gonna work out nicer like this, to have more full tiles and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just cutting this corner in, and then after that, this line is gonna line up with my shower tray, and then I'll work away from that again, 
and uh, yeah, try and well keep the pattern the same throughout. And it should look pretty smart once it's done. Whether or not it gets done today or not, we'll see. But uh, yeah, see how we get on. Look everyone, Simon's really showing off his craft today. You would never have known that there was a lintel here and that this, this wasn't original. Obviously you can see the wet joints, but when it dries, it's just gonna look original and fantastic. And it, it just looks amazing, Simon. You, yeah, thank you. You're really showing off, aren't you? <laughs> well, my back don't feel like I'm showing <laughs> off, but um, yeah, no, it's come out nice. Looks and fantastic. like you say, you know, where, where that original not original, but where that bit of granite was sat mm. in there, it didn't look right, did it? So now at least it looks, you know, uniform, didn't it? When you walk through the door, yep. all in there. So you've got another stone to put in there. We're going to finish yeah. this off tomorrow morning. Yeah, because I can't, I no. mean, if I'm trying to lean over there, no, I'm going to no, hurt no. my back. So if we not let this set it. tonight, I'll be able to stand on that in the morning and get the last bit in there. We've got another one that we've just cut there to go in. Uh, so there'll only be a couple of little bits to finish first thing in the morning. Fantastic. And, and I've um, ordered the hand-forged rail oh, okay. that's going to go here. Okay, great. Yeah, and then we'll fix that down. We'll fix we? that once we've done the stud work and the plasterboard. Yeah, but we've got a lot of things to do in here. We've got the electric, air conditioning, fire, detection system, electric, stuff like that. So yeah, we've got a lot to do in the hallway. And also the doors. The doors, I've ordered yeah, the cool. doors. They're in production now. Good. So it shouldn't take long. He's starting the one in the kitchen next week, I think. And yeah. It's fantastic, Simon. Okay, great. Where um, do you like it? Also, when we're finished here, everyone, we've got to go and pick up Simon's windows from Leroy Merlin's. And then we're going to go back to Simon's to take the windows to his. And then, yeah, you're happy you got your windows. I am, yeah. It's just a shame. It's been raining all day, isn't it? What a horrible day it's mm. been out there. Yeah. Getting wet, cutting the stones and all that. Yeah. But, but yeah. before we go and do that, I want to go and discover something that I've been thinking about the last couple of nights. So let me just grab this and maybe a hammer. Oh, I've got hammers over there, it'll be all right. Let's go and do this. Got the tools, so follow me, Alex. Where shall we do it? So this floor is not original. It looks like 1970s, 1980s. It's oak. It's quite good quality, but it's completely sloping down that side of the room. So at some point, we are going to remove it, keep it for other projects in this building. But I think below it, it's just a sort of something in my mind. I think there's a cobblestone, not cobblestone, flagstone floor below it. So. Let's just remove a couple of the floorboards and see what's below. It doesn't like that. So we're not damaging the floor, we are literally just removing the tongue and the groove. I did say I wasn't damaging it, but it appears I've changed my mind. Maybe it will come up now. Oh my 
almost. I'll just put this underneath. Wow, that is very low. Okay, I'm about to put my torch in everyone. Okay. Oops. I really don't want to put my hand down the river. It appears that there is a floor down here. But what type of floor, I don't know. Let's go again. Let's open some more up. That is tough old wood. Get my hand down there. What on earth is that thing? <laughs> well, I've got to take a photo because I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks pretty odd. Okay, what is that, everyone? Oh, they're just breeze blocks. Hmm. So they are literally just breeze blocks. I mean, it's just like stones, like loose stones. There's more breeze blocks here. So there's another breeze blocks there. Let me try and take another photo because I was expecting a flagstone floor like the hallway. And they've just laid the floor on top with beams going through to support this floor. But I don't think there is any, or they've been removed at some point. I mean, it's been put down pretty shoddily. I mean, just putting a concrete block underneath without any support underneath it it could move as you walk on the floor. That looks like an original stone. So I don't know. Maybe they brought the level up and there is an old floor underneath. We don't know. So we'll only better find out when this floor comes up. And I wanna try and reclaim this floor because it's quite a large room. It's probably about 50 square meters, maybe 60 square meters this room. And it's really good quality. It's solid oak. We'd have to try and remove it very carefully, but it's worth saving because to buy a floor like this is very expensive. So <clears throat> let me just sort of put these back in. So we didn't make a discovery. Well, we did, but we didn't. That's a shame. Let's go and uh, pick up Simon's windows, I think. We're here everyone, we're here at Leroy Merlin and yeah, we're picking up Simon's windows. Simon is very excited. He is like a child on Christmas morning. I am, you, mate? I am. I've never been so excited about some windows. So we're just gonna go over to the thingy, put our code in, we'll tell the lady our code and then hopefully they bring them out. And then hopefully we get them back in one piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the code. <laughs> You've got the code, no, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Parfait. Did you say this or cease? Because we had this you problem the other day. Before, didn't yeah. You? We're backing up until something goes clonk. That one looks light, doesn't it? We're going to get that one, aren't we? We'll have to go through the side, I think. Nice. 
Oh, they look nice, nice condition as well, don't they? They paint them. I might well, not even be. have to paint them. They should be, hopefully. Right, what we need to do is get this one off first. We don't want it to roll down the hill, do we? No. <laughs> oh, they've got the handles on, look. Oh, actually, I don't trust them, though. Should we stand this one up? We'll just put it against the side here first. You better do this on your own, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Right, um, I'm struggling here. Right, I've got it. Okay. Let's put it down a minute. Nice and gently. This wow. one's going to be laid flat, yeah? Yeah, and then them on top. Okay. Slit it down. You sure? Yeah, and then tip it up. Just slide it on. I do hope they fit. <sighs> it's massive. That one's all right. Got to do that one on my own. Might want to go that way. Right. Like that, get the angle. So that sits across it. I'll have to go round for that one, mate. Ooh, my fingers. <laughs> well, there we go. That's your windows, mate. Windows got, are on. You got your handles on the trolley there. Yeah, lovely. We got them on, Simon. Let's Great. go to yours, mate, and unload them. Yeah, let's go and do it. Lovely. All right, come on, Simon. Let's get these windows off. Oh, no, this one's broke. Not really. I shouldn't be cruel like that. Do you want me to brush my feet before I come in? Yeah. I mean, no, wipe my feet. <laughs> wipe your feet on the way out. <laughs> All right, let's watch it on that glass there, mate. There we go. Oh, it's heavy. Right, we'll put it straight on the floor, I reckon, don't we? No, no, we're all right. I'm okay like this, actually. No, I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit slippery, though. Yeah, I know, I've got the funny side. Oh. oh, I'm struggling with it. There we go, you got it? Yeah. All right, I'm underneath. Yeah, I have now. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, mate. Thanks, Billy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And uh, yeah, you've got the weekend to fit then, mate. I have, yeah. So back at the convert in the morning. Yep, and then it's the weekend. And then it's the weekend. Yep. And let's hope the rain stops. By the looks of it, it's got to stop at some point, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so we'll have all weekend, yep, won't we? So that's it. We're both working this weekend. So thank you, everyone, for watching this video today, and I'll see you all tomorrow.